Today's outfit is just a mustard yellow bodysuit that I think I got from Charlotte Russe and then some high-waisted shorts which I got from TJ Maxx. Um, my sunglasses are Jessica Simpson which I also got from TJ Maxx and my Hilerska Skolan um, tote bag which my friend got me for my birthday from Etsy. If you know what this is from you're awesome. Let's be friends. If you don't know what this is from, go watch Young Royals on Netflix. Good morning vlog. Today my mom and I are taking a little day trip to Hobart Book Village in New York, so I thought I'd bring you along. If you don't know what Hobart, New York is, it is a town up in the Catskills in New York with a lot of um, independent bookstores on the main street. So like there's one bookstore dedicated to just like mysteries and sci-fi, another one just for cookbooks. So I'm really excited to see what we can find there. Roll a B-roll. Okay, so we needed to make a little detour because the matcha that I got from Duncan. I asked for it with almond milk because lactose intolerant. I took one sip, which I filmed for you guys. <laughs> I took one sip and immediately knew that it was not made with almond milk. It tasted like regular milk and I was like, oh no, my stomach cannot handle that for a long car ride. So now we are in the parking lot of a Target because that was the closest Starbucks I could find. Okay guys, I've made it to Hobart Book Village. Um, we are parked at Caban Books right now. There are eight bookstores along this main street. Let's get book shopping. So the first building we stopped in actually had three different businesses in it. The first of which is More Good Books, which focused on selling books with railroad, ships, boats, automobiles, games, sports, hobbies, and pets. There is also a children's book library, and then also the Caban Company, which sells homemade art and old records. stopped at Quarry Books, which specializes in mystery novels and fantasy novels. And fun fact about this shop, it is actually staffless, so you pay on the honor code, which I thought was really cool. The next building we went to was mainly New York Books and Ephemera, which by the name it sells all books based in New York or are about New York. It also sold farmers local goods. And then there was also Creative Corner Books in this shop, which specializes in cookbooks and crafting books such as quilting and crocheting. The next shop we went to was Adams Books and they specialize in 17th, 18th, 19th, and 20th century texts. Guys, it was so cool being in this building. It was three floors of all old books. I just loved being in there. And we talked to the owners, me and my mom, and they actually take yearly trips to Europe to restock their shelves. So I thought that was so cool and so much fun for the owners to do.
Okay, we have three shops left and an hour before everything closes. <laughs> the next shop on our trip was Liberty Rock Books and they are the only shop on the entire main street to open at 10 a.m. instead of 11 like every other bookshop, but they have a little bit of everything in here. They also have a really adorable shop dog, so if you go anywhere in Hobart, come here to say hi to the little puppers. Guys, I found Rule of Wolves by Lee Bardugo here. Hi! The last stop on our trip was to Blenheim Hill Books and they also have a little bit of everything and the store is huge so definitely plan on spending at least an hour here. Well, I think we got enough books, don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, here, I'll show you the haul. We have one, two, three, Actually, four <laughs> bags of books. If we didn't have a library before, we do now. <laughs> so we're done book shopping. Oh, we but you know what we do now? <laughs> Go food shopping. There's a farmer's market around the corner, so we're just gonna check it out. <laughs> Unfortunately, the one store we didn't get to go to on this trip was Lion Eyes Books, whose specialty books are on art, philosophy, psychology, and spirituality. But I definitely recommend making a trip to Hobart Book Village if you are able to. All of the shop owners are so nice. We did a quick gas station stop for food and snacks. Ugh. On the way home, I got a cookie ice cream sandwich. Lemon lime Gatorade best flavor. You can't argue with me on that unless you say light blue. I got Funyuns and Slim Jim. I think we're ready to go home. Thanks for spending the day with me guys. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. A book haul of everything that I got in Hobart will be posted soon, but with that I will see you in my next video. Bye! Bye.